So James, the biggest question at the moment is how organisations are progressing their climate change and sustainability agendas. Climate change has emerged as the biggest priority of our time. Organisations are expected to have climate change and sustainability strategies. We all have a global commitment to achieve net zero by 2050. The time to act is now, don't you think? Absolutely. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? We're seeing a lot of big corporates who've got that strategy in place. They've started to mobilise their transformation programmes and they know what they want to do. Um, but there's plenty of companies below that level who either haven't started or don't know what to do in what order. And that's really the key bit that we've got to focus on. Now, the key thing for me is that any organisation undertaking transformation needs to look at that through a climate lens. Why undertake transformation at the moment that doesn't bring some benefit to your climate agenda? Now that could also be viewed through return on investment. It could also be reviewed as risk mitigation. So I think there are six factors that businesses could be considering in achieving really successful sustainability transformation. The first of those would be understanding the current carbon emissions baseline. Absolutely so that businesses can track going forward. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I would recommend that there's a clear vision, a clear strategy and senior stakeholder commitment right from the top yep. with realistic timelines. And thirdly, I would recommend that there's enterprise-wide scope, including operations, production, technology, and of course, data. Mm. What would you suggest, James, as the other three? Um, I guess the key one for me would be stakeholder management. There's a lot of people involved all across you know, any organisation, whatever size and scale. And it's key that they're all in from the start, as you said, to get the buy-in. Uh, the second one would be supply chain. Supply chains these days are vast and they're global. And it's really important that we don't just focus on our own organisation, but we look left and right or up and down the supply chain to make sure that everybody's involved. There are an awful lot of SME businesses involved in supply chains. And it's important that the big corporates at the top of the food chain help them, whether that's with funding, whether that's with, with their strategy. And then I guess finally, all of those five above come back to running a transformation program. It's really important to me that we put that structure in place, that we've got the program, we've got the plan, we've got the resource, and we know what we're doing and when we're doing it. James, leading transformation sounds just like what Project One do. It is. How can we help those businesses? No, you're right, Emma. We're already really proud at Project One of the transformation leadership. And now we've developed and grown in-house capability in climate and sustainability. And we're already working with a number of our customers where we're bringing together and infusing our delivery skills and our climate and sustainability skills. Not just to deliver the programme, but also to help develop their in-house capability for the years to come. One of our existing clients, a FTSE 100 global organisation, sought our help to mobilise their climate-related change programme. It's all aligned to their pledge on the race to zero and reducing their carbon emissions. Now they were looking for help to mobilise, to structure, to create the momentum, to work out the plan and to put all of this in place. Now clearly to do that, there's a lot of work needs to be done. We've had to engage the stakeholders across the world. We've had to coach and guide those leaders in, in, in understanding what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, our ways of working over the coming years. Now another of our customers, a government owned business, asked for help purely around how to bring their strategy to life, how to create strategy to action if you want. So they wanted to know how to mobilise the programme, how to govern it and how to control it. So again we've gone in and set up those key functions, shown them best practice, again managed all those stakeholders and educated them on how to proceed under their own steam. I understand we've been members of the Business in the Community Net Zero Task Force and the Technical Advisory Group for the past three years. We have indeed uh, since its inception and the, the role really is about focusing on supporting their membership. So prior to COP26, it was all about uh, helping with what and what the agenda was going to be. And now we've moved into the how. And so it's really about getting out there and helping their members with their particular agendas and getting them going in the right direction. But what else are we doing at Project One to help our own sustainability journey? Well, it's a bit of a busman's holiday, isn't it? Running your own change programme inside your own organisation. But yes, we have stood up our own Net Zero Carbon Committee and they're the driving force behind the activity. We baselined our carbon footprint back in 2019. Uh, it was quite a startling number, to be fair. Um, and our uh, activity now is all about reducing that or halving that, in effect, by 2030, a lot of which comes from travel. But already we've made changes that equate to uh, a saving of kind of 25,000 trees worth wow. of carbon. 
that's brilliant. Driving real change and making a real difference is at the core of Project One's purpose. We help customers to change, thrive and grow. If you would like to discuss your own climate change agenda, please don't hesitate to get in touch with us.